Good morning, everybody, and a very, 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 very warm welcome to another empowering morning conversations. And how are you this morning? Great, I suppose. So while we wait for our other uh, brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers to join us, would you like to share with me what did you learn from yesterday's session? I was there for quite some time and I was happy to see that more people were talking than usual. So that's very nice. So I'm actually thinking that I should recuse myself from this conversation so that you can have a conversation. So it looks like you want to have a conversation where you don't get any coaching. So we can have conversations where we'll always say, wow, 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 fantastic, very nice, very nice. <laughs> but it was a great conversation. I listened to most of it. and I'm so impressed. I think I'm going to be putting Conan in front more often than I am doing. I always thought he'd make a good facilitator, but the new Conan that I saw yesterday, I was so happy. The new Vitrival I'm seeing, I am so happy. The new Shakti I'm seeing, so happy. You know, but the advantage with the others is that they've had some extra. So by the way, I don't know how many of you know that Kunain, Vitrival and Rama, they were in a program, they are rather not, the program's not yet over, it's called the TOTC. They'll tell you what the TOTC is. So that one year long program has become a lifelong program. Okay. Now, another thing which I'm going to be doing very soon is that, you know, a uh, number of people who have done uh, bars with me and their foundation also. So two things I'm going to do, those who have become bars facilitator, I'm going to have another group for them so that I can support them. Now, uh, after today, even uh, our friend Sagar is going to be a part. He'll also become a facilitator. But you may need help in having a successful access bars uh, practice. Okay. Now, because I have years and years and years of you know, setting up my own public programs, I thought that maybe I can now support you and facilitate you in being a facilitator. So I'm making a group and I'm going to make Shakti and uh, Rama and Lina Ji, of course, she's also become a facilitator of bars, right? And help them to set up and conduct the programs. So that's one. Then there's going to be another group of all the people who have done the foundation program with me, or they are planning to do it whenever circumstances permit. I hope they permit. You know, when I was conducting the foundation this time, I realized that the level that it takes you is about 500 times higher than what you have achieved in your BAS program. It's really amazing. So we'll talk more about that. And I think now we have got our usual 19 people. So good morning once again. And remember what we are doing here is getting out of our default mode. Okay. Now, Every day when you come, I think you are beginning to find out that our daily time is getting used up so much. Like even yesterday when I was conducting the corporate program, one of the things which was coming out was that, sir, we know so many things. You know, they have come and three days they are spending over there learning a lot of technical things and learning things from me about managing and how to influence people and all that. And they're saying, sir, we are so busy in our daily work doing the things which are absolutely urgent as well as important that we don't get time to even sit and reflect upon our life. You know, simple question, if you ask people what improvements you can make, five improvements in your personal life and five improvements you can make in your corporate life, and uh, they have to think a lot before they write down the answer. That's very strange, isn't it? Just imagine... You are a person, everybody is like that. 
you are a person who wants to add the quality of your to the quality of your life right would you not know what are the things you wish to improve in your life should i repeat that question if you really are seriously interested in improving the quality of life would you not like to know what are the things i should improve and in that case it should be foremost in top of your mind na if i know what i have to improve i'll know i need this i need this i need this then i'll go and find out how to do this but they said sir we don't have time to do that also even if we get time to sleep that's a good thing sir and a very interesting bunch of people one of them was actually kidnapped by the naxalites also one of them was kept locked up in a room by one of the politician he said if you don't grant a contract to me you are not going to leave this room alive so very interesting bunch of people they say sir we are so busy fighting for our survival you expect us to think we got no time to think we got no time to plan interesting isn't it if you don't have time to plan obviously you will always be stuck up in urgencies the other day four or five days back i was coaching somebody from abroad and uh, again same problem overwork i'm getting too much work i'm not getting time and blah 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 so i said hello let us plan your time oh she said i know all that very well i know how to prioritize i know how to plan the time so i then said if you know all this then how come you are stuck up in this situation are you on top of the situation or situation is on top of you now usual answer is sir what to do situation is on top of me now if situation is on top of you what is your great knowledge doing to help you that is where a coach comes in you know your coach comes in because he helps you to use the knowledge which you already have so my question to you you have the knowledge which you already have sometimes you are using it sometimes you are not sometimes you are unable to use it because you don't know how to use it in any situation that also happens isn't it now let us say that you do have a coach hmm? if you treat your coach as a radio broadcast then there'll be one kind of an output so if you have a coach who never coaches you he only says shabash 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 very good very good today that will also not make any benefit to you right if you are in a coaching conversation and you don't participate in that conversation will that help you you are in a coaching conversation you are not following the basic premise of a conversation that we listen we clarify what we have heard see imagine if your coach is telling you something would you not like to know whether you heard that thing correctly or not see you may have heard something definitely everybody hear something whether is it accurate or not on the other hand if there are coach is coaching you he is saying something how does he know that you have understood the way you asked so today morning i asked someone what did you learn yesterday so instead of answering that question she is telling me what she learned day before yesterday so as a coach i was listening very clearly i said hello this is not what kunen was talking what is she talking about so i said hello that you learned day before yesterday ha ah, you're right sir so what else is required for you to benefit in a coaching conversation is that you be present and you listen and then you clarify by asking questions you clarify by sharing your insights to check whether you have got the insight correctly or not got it correctly okay so today i have two questions from everybody because today you might be receiving coaching tomorrow you might be giving coaching both ways it works if you are in a corporate job you are coaching people or at least it's a part of your leadership 
uh, requirement that one of the things you do is you coach and train your staff, isn't it? If you're an owner of a company, you need to cl clearly convey your expectations and then help the people to fulfill your expectations. Otherwise, they'll not do the job you the way you want. And then you'll say they did not do. So you have to then coach them so that they come up to your expectations. Life would be very easy if you could check out, you know, sack all those people who are not coming to your expectation. But getting people is difficult. Making them perform is sometimes even more difficult. Getting them to stick to your organization also difficult. So it requires a lot of skills to have as a leader. There are six major skills which I will not talk about today, but one of them is called being a coach. Okay? So when you're being a coach, you are the coach, the other person is a coachee, and each has to do something or be something if they wish to totally benefit from that coaching conversation. All right. So first, my question would be addressed to the coaches or would be coaches or people who have to be coaches in their life anyway. A parent can be a coach or a dictator. Yeah, so coach facilitates the other person to be inspired to act, correct? So my question to all people who are required to coach in their life, what would it be required? What would be the way that you should be when you are conducting a coaching conversation? Can you please repeat? I'll repeat it if you first tell me what did you hear? What I heard is what would it require to blah, blah, blah. What do you mean blah, blah, blah? Question was simple. Some, what would it require you to be? You know, what should you be and what should you do to be a good coach? So you heard 90% of it. Not bad. And I applaud you, Priya. You are cooking and listening at the same time and still you are doing a very good job. Kafi kuch pakad leti ho baat. Uh, yes, so I as a coach, what is the way you would be in a coaching conversation? What is the right way to be that will produce the result? So we'll start with uh, Reddy Garu and then we'll go to the lady Priya Garu. Yes, Reddy Garu, what is the way you will be when you are being a coach? You must be a good listener, sir. First. You must be a good listener. Then what else? Then you uh, you should be able to question uh, the coachee uh, whether they understood or uh, properly or not. Correct. If you are a good listener, you will always know that they have not been following completely, right? Yes, sir. Then you can ask the right questions. Very good. What else? Anything else? And you need to have a lot of patience, uh, like you. <laughs> lot of patience. Okay. Very good. Patience come from love of people, you know. Yes, sir. Love and compassion. Yes, sir. You can you can imagine there are some people with whom you have to really take out all the patience of all the janmas that you have lived, you know. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, Priya. So um, I was also about to say listening is very important and be present to what they're saying. A lot of time they want to say something else, like this happens with me, but they are talking about something else, not focusing on the main topic, what they wanted to say about. And another is judgmentary, please. Like sometimes I do judge what they are saying, but then I come like, Are Priya, this is an interesting point of view, and then come back. Do not judge what they are saying. As a coach. Is, as a coach, I should not judge them. Okay, very good. Yeah, these are the two things that and Thanks. patience is also required. A lot of patience. Sometimes I mean I call it dad. I also may unko What are you talking about? You know, can you be a little specific? 
Sometimes they are very specific and I need to tell them, can you be a little journalized? Tum kya? Thoda sa bhi, you know, thoda dur jau, thoda diverge karo, thoda converge karo. I just, mein unko bol de ho. Hmm, very good. Yes, Shakti. Uh, same like uh, good listener, sir. And then uh, it should be a creative communication. With intention, we are communicating, stop reacting and resisting. Always as a coach. Uh, as a coach. You are the coach. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Can you give an example of creative communication? Uh, for example, in the CMC conversation, when you ask some questions, sometimes they will divert into the different topic. But our intention is to uh, play around with that question and uh, get answers from them. Yeah, bring so them always be in that uh, creative mode. What we are bring them back. Yes. Yeah. You don't get hooked with what they are saying. There's a tendency to go get hooked. No, sometimes they are saying a nice thing. You get hooked and then you go on another uh, conversation. So you bring them yes. back to the conversation. Good. And that requires listening. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Shakti. <clears throat> yes, Gunanjan. Yeah, thank you, sir. Very good morning to you and all. Uh, just to add uh, my point of view on this conversation, other than uh, uh, what we have discussed just now, I would like to add on the authenticity vulnerability and empathy so that uh, as a coach i can feel the feelings of the coachee to be authentic very genuine yeah so yes. how would you how would you demonstrate these three things see it should be visible it should be visible in your actions and your words and your presence also see there is a presence required of you Right? If you're pretending to be with them, but you are not actually not being with them, then you're not being authentic. No. If you're showing a lot of interest in what they're saying, but actually you're not interested, you've already decided what they're going to say, then also you're not being authentic. Yeah, so like that, can you give me examples of other two points that you made? Yeah, one of the way, as I have learned from you, is that uh, intent listening uh, without... Uh, interpreting or judging the words of the statement, what the coach is uh, sharing. So instead Some of evaluation putting- is required or not? Come again, sir. I think I lost you. Is some evaluation required or not? Evaluation is required, sir, but uh, yes, it is required. For what? To ensure the Communication is happening in the right direction yeah. as per the willingness of the coachee to achieve or get whatsoever he or she is willing to get it from his or her life. Uh, one more thing, very important. You're always evaluating subtly to see are they in the same conversation or they're going into some other conversation? Yeah. Sometimes you said something, simple thing, you know, in a conversation you may ask or you may say, and you will have many kind of questions that you will ask. So now you're talking about kya hal hai? and the person saying, you know, you said, how are you? And saying, no, no, people are in a very bad shape people are in a very bad shape these days. Now they've gone into another conversation. Huh? You never ask them whether the people are in bad shape. You simply ask them, how are you today? That kind of evaluation, you have the presence of mind and the listening to know, okay, listen, I asked something, is he answering that or is he answering something else? Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. So intent listening will also make that possible. Hana. What is the third thing you were telling? Having uh, empathy, ability to feel the feelings of the coachy, what exactly he or she is. Uh, okay, so how do you demonstrate to your coachy that you have empathy for that person? By having a close conversation related to the subject and by asking 
more deeper questions so that he or she can share more about the feelings whatsoever they are and uh, convert the feelings into the words. Um, yeah, the last part, can you say again? Convert the feeling into words? Into means? the words so into... that uh, able to express the feelings whatsoever she or he has. And okay, I'll put it this way. You are coming close to the point. I think maybe you're using different words, but see, if I have empathy for you and I did all the things that you told, but I did not reflect back to you. See, I'm resonating with your feelings, right? But I never told you, okay, I get it, you know, I'm, I'm feeling your anger or I'm feeling your pain, you know? I get it that you're very upset. I get it that you're confused. You know, I get it that you're like really, really deeply sad about this. See, with the moment you let them know this, that you got their feeling, then they are knowing that, yes, yes, he's really empathizing with me, right? Otherwise, you may be empathizing, obviously. <laughs> Most of us here, we are people with a lot of empathy, all of you. All of us actually. But whether or not other people are able to know it, we don't know about that. Mm. Huh? So sometimes I even ask them, I said, do you get it that I got what you feel? I mean, I'm feeling what you're feeling. This is what you're feeling, right? I got it. Mm. Yeah, so that's the only thing to add to what you said. Great. Thank you very much for very nicely, uh, what shall I say, summarizing your points. Thank you, sir. Got it. All right, Abhinav. What is required of you when you are coaching? I think uh, uh, whatever type of coaching we are giving, whether it is sales coaching, marketing coaching, whether it is uh, you know even you know physical exercise coaching or life coaching, whatever coaching we are giving, because uh, you know it's I, I think a coach should find out uh, which the coachee may not know may not even realize, may find out what is the purpose, the, the in, purpose of the, you know, uh, purpose of the coaching, what is the purpose of the coaching and then connect coaching to that. Yeah, so it wants to be. Let's say, just say, like I'm coaching uh, uh, management training, you know. So I, and I've coached people in landmark also. I was an ILP coach, introduction leader coach also uh, with you, remember? So, uh, so I asked him, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want in life? And then I connected that to his current job, the job that he's doing in our company. And then I created a relationship with him. Now, uh, they had some kind of a three-day viva back at their MBA. They had gone there. So when he came back, he said, how was it? How was it? How was it? How Things like that. He says, there's, there is only one person in the whole of MBA course who's happy with the job is, that is me. I mean, very the right. restaurant are planning to shift. The restaurant are planning to change their job. So what is that big quality that you have, which you are bringing into a relationship with your coachee? Aapke andar ek hunar hai, which you are bringing into most of the conversations, I would say, but especially with your coachee. What is that quality that you have? I don't know. I can speculate on this. So I'll tell you. You are genuinely interested yeah. in that person. You are genuinely interested in that person's life. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. You are being very authentic. When you ask somebody, what yeah. do you want? Do you really want to know that? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, so sometimes people I... ask for you and they are not even interested to know your answer. Ha, they are not interested. They are not interested. Ha. Going through the motions. Even there are many coaches who are going through the motions. Coaches? Or coaches? Hey, even coaches. Even coaches. I've seen in my life. I have, I've dealt with, uh, uh, you know, since I've been in mostly in sales uh, so i've seen so many i have undergone so many coaching and there are so many coaches also who are just going through the motion going through the manual andar se unko koi pyar nahi koi interest nahi hai pyar to dusri baat interest nahi hai ha interest nahi hai unko koi ha so they've got a checklist ki ye pucho ye pucho ye pucho ye pucho 
हाँ हाँ ट्रेन पीपल इन व्हाट इज नोन एज स्पिन सेलिंग यू नो डू यू नो व्हाट इज स्पिन ओके नो नो ओके सरप्राइजिंग आई वाज टॉकिंग टू समबडी हु इज बीन इन सेल्स फॉर बडी 40 इयर्स एंड ही वांटेड टू कोच हिज हिज ओन कंपनीज टीम ऑन सेलिंग स्किल्स ओके सो आई आस्क्ड हिम डू यू नो स्पिन सेलिंग ही सेज नो मैं क्या तू इतनी बड़ी एमएनसी में काम करता है इतने साल से यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज ही सेज नो I said so, but you are very good in selling. You may be actually doing it. You know, तुम करते हो भी. So the question then I asked him was कि यार तुम्हारे को कोई curiosity नहीं है. You have no interest in finding out how can you become a better uh, trainer or a better owner or uh, something like that. Because if you are interested, you will be knowing ना कि भाई what is the latest in the market now. This particular technique has been there since the last thirty years. you know modi xerox they brought xerox brought it to india when they came it was very popular in the us at one point very very powerful very very effective right now if you are curious like you are curious in people correct abhinav aapko yeah, yeah 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 there is curiosity hai. that is the ultimate in empathy and because of that you will really want to know ki tumhara kya situation hai and all these things correct now look at that if you are a person and you have a coach is a very curious person right he wants to know about everything they yesterday i was coaching these guys the mining fellows so i was so curious that i asked them many questions to understand about the kind of operations they do and how they do and what difficulties will come when they are doing it you know because if i am not curious to know about their life and their conditions then i cannot go so that's a very good quality abhinav you have please work on it more are usi ko okay. jo aap apne aur jeevan ke pehlu mein le aaye to fir kya hoga hmm fir baat hai logon ke sath to hai bahut curiosity you will be a excellent coach in fact even yeah. i remember when you were doing ilp coaching you were doing a very good job thank you quite impressive actually thank you thank you Yes, sir. Who's next? Battery well. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the quick share is, uh, I feel uh, the prime important quality of being coach is connectedness. Sir, uh, he should be connected, uh, not on the upper lawyer or lawyer up or something. He should be connected. Then uh, the knowledge flows. Coach should be connected, not upper lower. I don't understand what you're saying. It's like uh, when I go to somebody, uh, or somebody is coming to me, I should be in their level. Like first, uh, it's the connection. You're trying to be, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We should not give them the feeling that uh, he will not feel what I feel. Something like that. Okay. Good. So can I ask you? And, a yes, please. Yeah, but first you finish what you're saying. I have one more doubt, sir, which is actually going through. Uh, intentionally, we want to help people. We move with people, but suddenly something comes from them. Say, oh, he knows this and he is doing it. What is that? I am going to do him for him. <laughs> is kind of is already going through and he knows it also. How can I make change? Though I studied everything, I have good intention of showing him the. this thing but suddenly something comes and uh, somehow i drop myself from that i i am not i don't know whether i am putting it rightly let me see if i have understood you correctly you are saying you are coaching someone <clears throat> yeah well, i had a intention of coaching something like that yeah i got it so you find out that he knows something yeah and he is already doing something so how can i help him i withdraw because i think that we already know so how i can coach him that's what you are saying no sir uh, actually some kind of judgment or something uh, it's it's waste time spending time with him ah uh, you have a judgment that it's a waste of time to spend time with him yeah he is not willing to be coached yeah because he knows certain stuff he must have gone through and he must have corrected what is that i am going to do okay good then uh, why would he have come to you for coaching anyway they don't come for coaching they come for advice yes So think, you know, you can ask a question, na? <clears throat> Ke Mr. So and So, Mr. Raghu, whatever his name is, Raman or whatever. That look, you know everything. 
and I'm very much honored that you still, after knowing everything, you're coming and asking for my advice. So why are you asking me for my advice? What do you want from me? How can I help you? You ask them, no? You understand? I shared a little while before okay. with that lady, right? Somebody from foreign. She was saying, oh, I know everything, I know everything. Then I asked her, I said, then, okay, fine, I get it. What do you want from me? Then she said, oh, but uh, I'm already being coached. I have my own coach. I have paid that coach. Then I said, why are you coming to me? The company told me to come to you. Get it? Oh, is that so? I said, then you don't have. You finish your, you do with your coach. Na? You cannot have two coaches at the same time. Sometimes confusing. See, one person has certain body of knowledge. He's putting you in a certain direction. Other person has a totally different body of knowledge. So even yesterday, I was talking to someone and he's getting coached by me. Neeti knows that guy very well, right? <clears throat> and I was giving him very clear cut, ki, you have to do this, do this, do this in your next conversation. He agreed also. Then when I spoke to him two days later, he said, sir, I'm reading this book, you know, from so-and-so author. And this is what he's saying. So I told him, I said, then, you know, if you are working with me and you are asking me for my suggestion and now you are saying that I'm reading so-and-so book and book is saying like this, right? Now you choose, then why don't you follow the book? I mean, why are you paying me? He's paying me. If you're paying me and you're not doing what I'm asking you to do or whatever we are discussing, you agree everything and you say, I'll do it. Then you do something which you are reading in some other book. See, as a coach, what did I do? I was not buying all this bullshit here. See, if you are always trying to be a nice guy, nice guy means, okay, you read in that book, you do that, okay? Or the third alternative also is available in the same situation. You can show him how what is written in the book may be also already connected with what you are already telling. But it's put in a different way, so he's getting confused because of that. Hello. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. I have not forgotten that I want to ask you. Every time you say you want to talk, you say quick share, quick question, very brief one. Why do you say like that? What is the purpose of that? Earlier, it was so bad. I was using the word that I want to have a little share. <laughs> yeah, but why you want to have little share in a quick one? I mean, what's the problem? You can have Maybe a lot also. Time, time, giving time to others. No, that let the coach decide. No? Okay, okay. Got it. Got the message. <laughs> if you say quick this one, everybody will be expecting you to be quick. You know, so they'll be thinking, when is he going to stop? He said it's quick. But he's not quick. Why to say that? Yeah? I mean, nobody is going to see by chance if you are over going. Uh, or... Trust the coach; he will tell you to stop. The moment you say anything which is nonsense and three times repeating. Now, haven't you seen sometimes people say the same thing four times? I let them say also. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes people say the same thing four times because they are not sure others have gotten them or not. Or they are also not sure whether they are speaking clearly or not. <laughs> so many things happen. No? <laughs> Great. Thank you, Vitri. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. So now everybody has responded that what is the correct way to be as a coach? Right? Now I'll ask you, you are also being coached, that people are coaching you. Yeah. Conan says wants to say something. Uh, I would like to invite Pooja Karan to share her thoughts, sir, because... Uh, about what? About, uh, as a coach, what exactly she does uh, when she... Not, I never asked what exactly you do. I said, what should you do? What yeah. should you be? Be or do. Uh, yeah. Pooja, are you with us? Are you listening no, to this? I asked you to ask her, firstly. The question was asked to everybody, and all of you answered, why should we be... Chasing her to ask that question or share. I'm not going to do that anymore. See, she's also a coach. If she wants to benefit, so that's why I'm coming to the second part of the conversation, Kunenji. 
Hang on. See, right now she is in a coaching situation, correct? Now, if you want to benefit from your coach, hmm, what is the way you should be? See, Kunayan at this moment is wearing two hats at the same time. That's okay. He's being a coach as well as being a coachee. So I will not uh, be annoyed with him or anything. But I'm also at the same time coaching him to be a better coach. Right? So now all of you at this moment are in a coaching conversation. Coaching is a conversation. So what is the way you should be in a coaching conversation that you get the best benefit out of that coaching conversation? What is the way you should be in a group coaching conversation so that you get the benefit out of that coaching conversation? Others also get the benefit out of that conversation. Now, if Pooja wants to say something, she is most welcome. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, I am ah, not very hello, present hello, today. <laughs> Pooja, hath bhi khada kar liya karo kabhi kabhi. Okay, sir. Uh, for me, uh, coaching and mentoring is an um, important aspect of life, whether we are at... Uh... Excuse me, I'm going to interrupt you, Pooja. Yeah. The question is very specific and I'll request you to answer the question first, then you can give your wisdom about what is coaching and all that, okay? What you're talking about is what is coaching and what is the benefit of coaching. I did not ask you that, right? I'm yeah. asking you, what is the way you should be or anybody should be in a coaching conversation as a coachee so that they can get the best benefit out of it? Or camera be on, Karli Jay, please. Mm, sir, I'm in basement actually. Oh, signal nahi aega. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you should be, uh, not should be, listening, actually, first of all, okay. uh, coachable. Coachable means what your coach or mentor is saying to you. So, don't try to resist it or uh, take it in any other way. Even if those are little harsh words, even if... Uh, there is something which he can see, uh, but you can't see with yourself. If if your coach or mentor is saying something to you, there is a reason behind it. Okay, good. So you've now told us what is the way you should be. Now I'm asking you, what should you do in a coaching conversation to get the best benefit as a coachee? Be to bol di aapne. Do bhi bataye na. What should you do to benefit? In a coaching conversation, Aapko karna kya chahiye? <clears throat> listening is first aspect. Okay, then what else? Being present is second. Third okay. is what he says. Uh, you trust him and you follow. You do it. Now, one minute. You missed some very important point. If you are really listening, then you will do something. Yeah. What is that something you will do if you are listening? If there is any query or question, you can ask. No, even if before not... that. If you have not, suppose the coach is speaking and you haven't got accurately what the coach is saying. Just now I corrected you, no? Yeah. I said, Pooja, yeah. I'm asking you about how should you be as a coachee and you're answering about uh, what is coaching and what are the benefits of coaching. I did that just now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is it that you did not do that made you do like that. Kya karna so if somebody, so coach is saying something, right? Then you can clarify by saying, yes, sir, this is what I've understood. Is that correct? Yes. If you don't do that, you are not going to be good in a coaching conversation. See, there are two disadvantages in a you know virtual conversation. Sometimes you don't hear clearly the words. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, sometimes when somebody is um, on uh, not on camera, as a coach, I'll never be able to make out that you have understood what I'm saying or not. It's not only understood. It is understood the way I'm telling you. Yeah. There is a particular point. If you don't get it, and you're not even making an effort to find out whether you got it correctly or not, and then you are asking questions based on some assumptions, will you benefit as a coachee? No. Both should be on same pace. Yeah. How would you do that? By telling him? By clarifying, by asking if you are not present for the moment, if you didn't get it, or just make sure that you uh, understood in the uh, same uh, manner what is being said. Exactly. So sometimes you may have to repeat and say, yes, sir, this is what I have understood. Yeah. For example, you could say, sir, I didn't hear the question that you asked. Or you can say, sir, I think you are asking about what is coaching and how people will benefit from it. Then I will say, no, 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 that is not the question I asked. You follow? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Because you being a coach also, you have to tell your coaches how to be better coachable. And right. I, right. Because the coachee has to also, as a coach also, there is certain way to be, which is like you don't allow them to go all over the place. Because that wastes time. Yeah. Great. Anything else you feel that you should be or when you are being coached by someone? Fully trust your coach and if there are any queries or if you are not align, not in alignment, you can ask. Yeah. Now there's one very important thing you missed. If you are in a group coaching conversation, why is it necessary for somebody to ask you, okay, Pooja, you want to say something? Not necessary, sir. I, um, I think you missed. Actually, I told you, sir, the signal was not there. I was not very present. <laughs> so, group can... Yeah, group coaching, yeah, because you need to make sure that everybody is listening you, everybody is getting what you conveyed, like you asked, right? You inquired. So... Take a second. If you are in a group coaching, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I am a coach. Is it necessary to say that you want to say something to the people? No. No? Initiative should be taken from yourself. The third time today is that you have to say to Kunan and say that I would like you to share your views. Why have you to be asked? You are already a coach. Do you want to stand up? I will say speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, I was in my head, actually. <laughs> uh, I know that you are in your head most of the time, but that's okay. <laughs> so that is the point I'm making for everybody also. If you want to benefit from a coaching conversation, participate in the question, uh, in the conversation, yeah? Yes, sir. Put yourself forward. Every time I may not have the time to by name call everybody. Aap bhi boliye, aap bhi boliye, aap bhi boliye, aap bhi boliye. It's a waste of time na, for the coach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because see, if you are putting yourself forward and asking now, have you seen that there are only four or five people who participate? Like ask and share and all that. But yeah. remember, it's a coaching conversation. This is not a sharing session. There is a difference between a sharing session. And a coaching one. Yeah, this is interactive. This is both ways. This is not, I mean, this is the session which is evolved with the people life and their uh, views and their uh, what what they <laughs> Okay, really... now you answer a question specific. When I ask yes. the question, tell me what is the question I asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a coaching conversation and a sharing session? Coaching conversation is very, very, uh, you can say, vision oriented. What's the really purpose of that conversation? And uh, it's really aimed to that particular thing. But sharing is, everybody is sharing their point of views and uh, sharing in, uh, maybe the coaching, uh, the coach is saying something and everybody is listening. Okay, okay wait. Gautam ji, just wait. I'll come to you also. Huh? I know that you are waiting. So, Pooja, you missed one very important point. 
right sharing means coach coach is also sharing no. and other people sharing but there is no particular thing that you want to let's say you you are con, uh, conversing here so you want to bring something out of it so there is very very uh, every sentence what you speak there is a purpose behind it and uh, you want to uh, one thing, one thing wait 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 you are getting close to the point but you are missing something okay I mean, you said a very useful thing see if there is a purpose in a coaching conversation that i get clear very nice yeah in a coaching conversation there is a purpose in a sharing conversation also there is a purpose the purpose in a sharing conversation is only to share correct yes yes in a coaching conversation it is to coach and to be coached so what is the difference between the two when you are in a coaching conversation and you are a coach and you are there to be coached correct as a yeah. coach you will not listen to something just like that they are talking a coach mm-hmm. will interact with you to show you some possibility or to correct you if you are going in the wrong direction in a sharing conversation coach will only always say very good very nice appreciate you for your sharing it is right. useful also to share no but no doubt yeah so right. be clear now if you are in a coaching conversation you will be willing to coach and interact with the coach correct correct in a sharing conversation you will only share and you have no expectation that you are going to get any coaching yes theek hai so okay, sir. that so when you are coaching also people you be clear is it a sharing conversation or is it a coaching conversation so what do you think the emc is is it a sharing conversation or a coaching conversation it's both i mean more of coaching uh, but at time sharing is also allowed <laughs> yeah and who is the person who allows it sir who is the person who supposed to allow it a coach coach right Now, yeah should he should he always allow it no yeah so should it stop you from you know participating in the conversation uh we, i mean no no stop but if you are going somewhere else so he can draw your attention to the main point he can no yes okay good so if you keep all these things in your mind all of you people on this call today do you think you are really participating in this coaching conversation or sharing conversation or whatever it is that you expecting in this emc how is it that only four five people are really participating and the rest are spectators here in fact i was going to ask you should i just record something and put it for one hour every morning it will save me a lot of time you know i can make a nice uh, powerpoint presentation make a reel with some photos and some music and all that and uh, some narration on my part then why should i get up early in the morning i'll make it in the night subah recording chala dunga sir right now uh, you can ask everybody uh, who is not participating what's the reason maybe they have some reason I so don't, you don't tell me what i should do here बोलने का क्या पॉइंट है तुम्हारा थैंक यू एनी वे गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी दिस इन आवर फील्ड where we are meeting our people and doing the coaching we do ma- maximum demonstration like uh, just to give an example a molecule like that is there so it is visible with the orange so we distribute the orange and then spill it and then explain what is the step and how the it is a molecule it looks like inside is there same 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 like that when people are going to visit the farm even the aquaculture this uh, ponds how to check the ph and that if i talk only the people not understand i have to carry the ph meter with me with water with uh, showing the 
how to acidify our work and showing the difference, the color changes are like that. So uh, actually we coach our people, so they can go to the field, they can interact with the farmer or they can interact with the uh, customer and explain the exactly what is happening in a simple way. And practice uh, is very important as you, sir, you guide us doing the practice from laugh and then do this uh, body control and uh, mind control like that. It helps and uh, this is a really, I think uh, uh, it is a very helpful for me and for coaching the people. Okay. Demonstration is so important. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, demonstration. Okay. Now, in a few people have told me privately, sir, we find it hard to, we feel shy to share and question about our personal things because the conversation is being recorded. Okay. Maybe genuine concern, no? If you're talking something and getting coached on some topic, you may want to keep it private also, no? You don't want it to be recorded. So here is one suggestion from me. If you people say, don't record these conversations, I will stop recording it. That is one option that we won't record at all. Second option is if somebody doesn't want their conversation with me to be recorded, they tell me, sir, can you please pause the recording? I can stop the recording, finish the interaction with you, and then I can start the recording. All right. Now it's useful if you are open and frank and tell us we are all one family. I think all of us would like to help you to get more out of it. Okay. So if you feel that no recording should be done at all in the entire conversation, I think I've got 408 recordings. If I don't do any more recording, there's no harm done. On the other hand, if you say don't record this particular part of the conversation, we will stop it. There is a pausing uh, button in it. Yeah. And if you don't trust me to do that, then I will share the recording with you. If you say it's okay to share it on the YouTube, I'll share it. Otherwise, I'll not. Yeah. So if it helps you to participate more and question more and get coached more, I'm offering this opportunity to you. Okay. So how many of you want that recording should not be there? Please let me know. How many of you want no recording should be done of EMC? Okay. So your silence means it's okay to record it. Am I right? Now, how many can of you I... want, sir, when we are interacting at that time, we will tell you, please do not record it. How many of you want like sure. that? I, I think that option should be open. It is open. If, if that's what wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. If if a particular person doesn't want whatever he is saying to be recorded, he should request it, and that that should be honored. But otherwise, the recording is very important. Is very important. Useful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Good. So this is what we are going to do if, in future. When you want to share or question or interact and you feel that it might be something you do not want it to record, you tell me I will pause it. Sure. Then it will not be recorded. And before posting it, I will check it again to see that, you know, by chance that thing has got recorded, I will delete it. Yes, Kunen. Just my point of view, sir, if uh, anyone or I want something not to be recorded, uh, there's a, spe a specific conversation of mine. Is it uh, I'm coming from some sort of fear? And why shall uh, we live with the fear? Why don't we trust you, universe, and uh, be calm, easy, and relaxed that what's going to happen is going to happen good for me? Yeah, but that, you know, many people have not reached that state of uh, evolution like we have. Like, I can share anything and I don't care who's listening. Okay, I am not afraid of anything, but there may be some people who are still, you know, starting the journey and they are little shy. So we should respect that. Na? Yeah. Okay. Even uh, your Facebook will inform you that this conversation is being recorded. If you want to go out of it, you go out of it. They are also saying, correct? Because okay. people are sensitive. Yeah. 
तो आई थिंक एनीबडी हु वांट्स के सर आई एम गोइंग टू नाउ इंटरैक्ट विद यू प्लीज डू नॉट रिकॉर्ड माय इंटरैक्शन आई विल ऑनर इट आई विल रिस्पेक्ट इट एंड लेटर ऑन व्हेन यू लूज योर फियर देन यू विल नॉट बी आस्किंग मी टू डू दैट सो फेयर इनफ ना आपकी बात तो बहुत सही है आई हैव बीन ऑपरेटिंग ऑन दैट प्रीमाइस टिल नाउ दैट वी हैव आई मीन व्हाट इज देयर विद माय शेयरिंग इफ 1000 पीपल आर लर्निंग समथिंग आई डोंट माइंड दैट राइट बट सम पीपल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम सो उसको रिस्पेक्ट करना चाहिए यस अभिनव ओके सुखदीपक एक्सपेरिमेंट यू मे बी यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट अ फ्यू सेशंस यू अभी आप कुछ बोलने वाले हो पॉज करूं क्या रिकॉर्डिंग नहीं नहीं आप बोलो हां नहीं तो हर बार हर चीज ऊपर पूछना पड़ेगा ना तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी तो खुद ही बोल देना जिसको चाहिए तो नहीं नहीं सी सी व्हाट आई सी सी इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट generally uh, most of the earlier used to be in a room so pehle coach bol deta hai anything that you say is will be uh, uh, you know is confidential within the room it will not go out and then we had people like vice presidents and presidents of the company saying that i am scared ki meri job chali jayegi <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know we think ye to bhagwan type aadmi hai and then usko ek matlab uh, baaki logon ke liye ek learning hoti thi because they were very open about it so maybe maybe hum mehroom hain bahut sari learning se because we have such good talented people jo puri baat nahi karte they are uh, so maybe you can maybe you can experiment for a week if there won't be any recording this week or there won't be you can say right in the beginning ki today there won't be any recording so you know don't be scared you know, do and that? you can also request no, abhi na uski zarurat nahi hai na jaise abhi ashok ji ne bola abhi unse zyada experienced aadmi koi nahi hai conversation mein ठीक है क्या बोल रहे अगर आप चाहते हो कि आपकी रिकॉर्ड ना हो फिर से बोलता हूँ अगर आप चाहते हो कि आपकी कॉन्वर्सेशन रिकॉर्ड ना हो तो आप बोल दो हमको हम रिकॉर्डिंग को पॉज कर देंगे नहीं होगा रिकॉर्ड ये देखो अभी मैं ये पॉज कर रहा हूँ सुखदीपा वॉट इज गारंटी दैट मैं नहीं रिकॉर्ड कर रहा क्या पता मैं रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूँ वो तो फिर कोई गारंटी नहीं है कोई भी रिकॉर्ड बाई दू नॉट अलाउ यू टू रिकॉर्ड अनलेस यू आर द होस्ट ठीक है ओके 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 now acha okay okay now, okay there are some devices available nowadays you can keep a tape recorder like this and record ha ha correct correct the correct person correct. will do that ke bhai ek aadmi bol raha hai meri baat ko mat rakho humne pause kar diya recording kis tarah ka insaan ho aise insaan aapko lagta hai hamare group mein hai ke jab unko mana kiya hai ha but नहीं हाँ सुन लो जरा अगर आपकी बात सही है डर है की कोई रिकॉर्ड करेगा जब कॉन्वर्सेशन चल रही है हम रिकॉर्ड नहीं भी कर रहे है तब भी वो लोग रिकॉर्ड कर सकते है उसको हाँ ठीक है ना एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली अच्छा क्या है आप बोलो सर मेरा ये वाला अभी पॉज कर दो हम कर देंगे ठीक है उसके बावजूद अगर कोई नहीं बोलना चाहता तो नहीं बोलेगा और उसके बावजूद अगर उसको इतना डर लगता है कि कोई रिकॉर्ड करेगा वो तो आएगा ही नहीं इस कॉन्वर्सेशन में यार बिल्कुल 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 एम आई राइट अशोक जी एब्सोल्युटली आई कैन see uh, first thing your frankness i have been listening to the conversations maybe more than 300 and odd 
your frankness in expressing yourself has given us confidence of becoming member of this group and continuing member of this group, number one. Number two, the frankness of other members also has encouraged us many times that to check it with our own behavior, our own experience, our own attitude. And we have also corrected our behavior, listening from the experiences of many, many members here. So, thirdly, you are in this world. You think that everything is confidential? No, the whole world is watching. Everything is open. <laughs> Why? Where is the confidentiality? Nothing. There is nothing confidential. Unless you, have, you want to hide something, even that is not possible to hide. I have seen a, a very a doctor, a Muslim lady had come to, come to him and she says she has a temperature, but she will not allow doctor to put the thermometer in her mouth or in the armpit. Now she is putting the thermometer and the temperature shows 95. What happens then? So if, if you go to the doctor, you better, better undress. When we are in this one-to-one uh, -one conversation, we should be extremely frank with ourselves, express ourselves, and then only we can get an advice or opinion which can improve ourselves. The very thing today morning, what are the five things that should be improved in my life? If these are the things, and if we are not frank with one another, those five things will never come up. Will never come up. One of the, one of the things is that we should be able to listen, compare and improve ourselves. That will not be possible. So, so I, I, feel that physical meetings are much, much more important than visual. But virtual meetings are the other way of life now. Mm. And the way of life now and we have to adjust to it. But uh, See, Otherwise we cannot have Shakti from Hong Kong and Puja from Noida. No, no, no way. Pune no. from Dubai, you know. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Even, even Shairi the, every word is so important and so meaningful that we are not able to properly even translate in any other language. Only that word in that language only tells the sentiments and the feelings behind it. No other, no other language can tell. Yeah, and we feel it every day. <laughs> that so, thank you, sir. thank you. Time to end it. So before we end it, thank you, thank you so much. Wonderful words, and I really appreciate. It. Right, and we are going to, I mean, it, that does not mean that we'll not keep in mind the concerns expressed by Abhinav. Definitely. Can I, can I, sir? Yes. Yeah, because uh, whatever, uh, the, whatever I, which is coming in my mind, all others uh, shared. Uh, the only thing I want to give is the, uh, we have to first, the coach has to first define the topic. Then uh, we can give some explanation of about the topic with our, uh, I mean, the, the concept which, are, which we are defining, we have to give the explanation of that particular concept. Then- yeah. you want to Tell me one thing. Then Madam. we can give this with the coaches for the sharing mode. So what is their opinion on that particular topic? Yeah, but we are not interested in their opinion. Yeah, opinion about that we are, topic. We are not interested in their opinion. Okay, their... Uh, we are interested are in their sharing. Their, their, yeah, their uh, thought process towards this topic. And that we are listening to that. If yeah. they are, if we feel which is deviating from this particular yeah. topic, Correct. then we can able to guide them from them itself. Yeah. To brought to the our uh, concept or the uh, topic which we are discussing. Yeah. So, so isn't it exactly? Is, isn't it exactly what we are doing here every morning? Yes. 
yes exactly that is what i am framing it that is uh, what that is what, right. what uh, i i got in my mind uh, which i am framing it and uh, uh, giving you as uh, this one and uh, sorry because uh, in between initially normally i mean uh, people would start talking i don't want to interrupt first of all <laughs> in the morning time so that is why i am listening and second thing is morning this time only my husband is going by 8 o'clock so simultaneously i have to work in uh, <laughs> uh kitchen and uh, before that i have to do the printing says everything is put together so that is why i didn't interrupt in the uh, topic i mean conversation in between all right uh, thank you yeah, uh, at least i get uh, i am thanking god that i am getting the time to listen at least okay, <laughs> thank, okay. You so much, thank, thank you so much thank you so much yeah and we truly appreciate that you come here every morning and you participate all right yeah. and please keep doing that we welcome you all right and a little yeah. bit of correction here and there I, i don't think you will be minding it okay yeah yes sir yeah definitely sir and one more is when i be in my daughter's house no network is available so that is another uh, this one that is why i couldn't be able to come all the days no problem okay. thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay, okay yes now we have to have our shairi you know first so oh, before that we travel to lighter mode No 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 jaane do yaar abhi time nahi hai it's already 8 10 yaar lamba ho jayega next time hum battery se lighter mode kara diya karenge ab zarurat to hai abhi lighter mode ki i understand that <laughs> everybody is in a heavy mood hai eh? good so why don't you do some shairi on the lighter note kuldeep ji kuch hasya kavita ho jaye अनम्यूट कर लें कुलदीप सर फोन पे ना कभी कभी अनम्यूट करना मुश्किल होता है यस्टरडे आई वाज इन द कार ट्राइंग टू अनम्यूट हो ही नहीं रहा था ओह आई कुड नॉट फाइंड द बटन ओनली ओह चलिए जब तक कुलदीप साहब अनम्यूट करते हैं तो मैं एक सुना देता हूं सुनाओ सुनाओ और इसके आए के गुफ्तगू बड़ी देर से जारी है खूबसूरती के साथ गुफ्तगू बड़ी देर से जारी है खूबसूरती के साथ एक नई बात निकल आती है हर नई बात के साथ वाह 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 वा, क्या बात है एक नई बात निकल आती है हर बात के साथ गुफ्तु देर से जारी है बड़ी खूबसूरती के साथ सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर कहते हैं कि जीत भी फीकी लगती है अगर कोई बधाई देने वाला ना हो वाह जीत भी फीकी लगती है अगर कोई बधाई देने वाला ना हो और वो हार भी सुंदर है और वो हार भी सुंदर है अगर अपना कोई अपने साथ खड़ा <laughs> wonderful thank you thank you thank you and thank you everybody for your participation today i hope you will take today's uh, learnings and start using them in our own conversations here all right and you can send me a private message to tell me that should we stop recordings all over all together completely no recordings at all i'll honor that also if majority says no recording there will be no recording me okay thanks and bye bye why private it can be on the chat there is nothing like the private voting but save nahi hota hai chat acha because you know when i stop this i may or may not get the chat ka detail isliye main bol raha hu okay okay theek hai right? they can put yeah. in the group also i will open the group today you can put it in that our main... i think that will be better i yeah, know, name and they will be better nuksan ye hai के लोग जो है ना दरिया के बहाव के हिसाब से अपना वोट डालते इफ मोर पीपल आर सेइंग रिकॉर्ड देन अदर्स विल आल्सो से डोंट रिकॉर्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग देयर ओन पर्सनल व्यूज तो एनीवे लेट मी दूसरा भी है कैसा है एब्सेंटी वोटर्स एब्सेंटी वोटर्स यू विल टेक टू टुवर्ड्स यस और नो 
हाँ वो बड़ी प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है नहीं मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट आर एब्सेंटिव वोटर्स हाँ लेटर ऑन दिल से वी नेवर वांटेड दिस करेक्ट एब्सेंटिव वोटर्स आर द वन हु लुक एट द रिकॉर्डिंग व्हेन दे मिस द सेशन वैसे सर जाते okay, जाते ये बताइए कि कल का दिन कैसा गुजरा सर आपका बड़ा खूबसूरत दिन था हाँ मैं बता रहा था आप शायद लेट आए बहुत मजा आया कॉर्पोरेट लोगों को ट्रेनिंग करने में बहुत मजा आता है ये सब माइनिंग इंजीनियर से माइन से आए थे उनको सिखा रहे थे कि स्टेक होल्डर्स को कैसे मैनेज करना है इन्फ्लुएंस कैसे करना है और मुश्किल में कैसे बेहतर काम करना है एंड ऑल दैट स्टॉफ यू नो सो दे वेंट बैक वेरी हैप्पी और आपकी एनिवर्सरी बिग बॉस वॉज सो मूव टू टीयर्स ही सेड यार दिस इज नेक्स्ट टाइम आप दो दिन का काम करना हमारे से एक दिन में पूरा मेरे को लगता है नहीं मजा आ रहा मैंने बोल दिया था कि भाई एक दिन में तुम दांत गीले कर रहे हो दो दिन के लिए कम से कम बुलाओ सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ही सेज के अब समझ में आया क्यों आपको दो दिन के लिए बुलाना चाहिए सो so, अच्छा लगा आई वाज बिट टायर्ड देन आई हैड टू गो फॉर अनदर मीटिंग विद अनदर क्लाइंट द होल टीम हैड कम फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू बॉम्बे ओनली टू मीट मी सो उनको मिलने के शाम को फिर आए और सुबह आपके आपकी सेवा में हाथ से रहे आपकी एनिवर्सरी कैसी रही सर हाँ ये मेरी मिसेस को पूछो हम थोड़े दस बजे पहुंचे तो फिर नहीं होगी हमारी रोज ही एनिवर्सरी होती है तो प्रॉब्लम क्या है सर मैम को भी देखना चाहते हैं हम जूम पे वो आज नहीं आएंगे सामने ये मैं बता दू आपको पता है ना क्यों नहीं आएंगी अभी बाल नहीं कंगी हुए एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा डेफिनेटली वो आएंगी और बोलेंगी भी किसी दिन एक सेशन उन्हीं से करवाऊंगा देखना आवर प्रेयर्स एंड ब्लेसिंग्स हम सबों की दुआएं आपके साथ हैं सर थैंक यू सर आई एम ऑनर्ड विथ योर गुड विशेस ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू एंड यू एंड एवरीबॉडी मी यू नो समथिंग फॉर मी द मॉर्निंग कॉन्वर्सेशन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वन ऑफ द थिंग्स विच रियली मेक्स मी द मोस्ट हैप्पी